Chris, I have that new script you wanted to see. Um. Hello, JJ. If you're reading this note, it means that you've probably figured out that I'm not home. I know that we were supposed to film a video today, but you know how I am. I've taken the camera to document my newest musical endeavor, a Bavarian yodeling group in New Jersey put an ad in Craigslist. They were looking for a lead yodeler. Now, I have no experience doing this, but since no one else answered this ad, I got the job. This is my new true calling in life. Stupid. No, it's not stupid. Anyway, by now, we are halfway around the country on our way to compete at the National Yodeling Championships in Seattle. Klaus has been teaching me the glockenspiel. He says that I am a natural disaster. His son Christoph is better than me, even though he fell off of a mountain as a young boy, can only communicate through drool, and regularly craps his pants. So, we have that in common. I should be returning in a few weeks. If you could look after and feed my cat while I'm gone, that would be great. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chris, you don't have a cat. Well, I need you to get a cat for me. I don't care what kind, just make it happen. Along with that, please make sure that a theremin and 47 boxes of lime jello are in my room. I'll explain when I get back. One last thing, can you find my lucky suspenders? You know, the neon ones? Otto is certain they will bring us luck and it would please him if I wore them for the competition. You do not want to make him angry because he becomes one sour kraut. When you find them, please send them to this address. It is a gas station we are supposed to be passing when we get to Salt Lake City. It's a whole different world in the middle of the country. Sorry if this all comes as a shock. Perhaps when I return in a few months we can collaborate on something. To be quite honest, I have grown tired of making funny videos. They weren't very funny and were a lot of work. My priorities have changed. Now the only things that make me happy are hearing the soothing, almost lyrical form of communication that is the German language, and throwing schnitzels down my throat like they were Tic Tacs. Be well, and for the love of all things holy, please shave. You look homeless. P.S. Never mind about the suspenders. I was wearing them the whole time. Boy, do I feel silly. The secret to effective packing is, of course, to wear as many clothes as possible. It's really an easy rule to forget. And you see, my friendship with Saddam Hussein wasn't a complete waste. P.P.S. If you are wondering how I fit so much on such a small piece of paper, why I chose such a small piece of paper, how I left this note for you even though I said that we were halfway across the country and why I didn't just call you or indicate that calling my phone would be an effective means of communication, it's weird, right? I know. Okay, bye! <laughs> Thank you.